Hello guys and welcome back, finally after a long time, to another episode of Architects 3D Printing. This time I'm going to explain you how you can modify 3D models that you download from Thinkiverse or other sites like that. For the example, I'm going to use this Ferrari key 3D model that a friend asked me to print. So the first step will be downloading an existing model from Thinkiverse. I downloaded this one, created by Ignatius Alex. The next step will be to open the SDL in Rhinoceros. The first I see is that the model is too small. The metallic part will measure, in real life, around 40 mm, so I'm going to scale it. Once here, as you can see, the key has a quite good design, but if we compare it with pictures we can find on the internet, the design is not realistic. In the real one, we won't find the logo on both faces, instead we will have a more simple logo in one of the sides and the buttons to open the car in the other side. We have been lucky and the 3D model is not an only object. Since the key is separated from the shield with the logo, so we can directly move it to the side and we are going to trace the horse with the project option activated. And then we will offset the contour 0.6mm and fix the offset line if it's necessary. Now we will remove the original shield we will extrude the external control, making a mesh boolean difference in the key. Then we will move the internal contour of the horse to the hole that we just made and we will extrude it with the size of the key, getting the result that you can see in this quick rendering. Once we decided this result is good enough, we are going to copy the object and in one of the copies make a mesh boolean union to make the key a unique object with the logo integrated. Once we have one side ready to print, we are going to rotate the key and go for the second side. In this case, we will have to design it from scratch. So we are going to draw the basic shape of the buttons and we will create a convex surface using the surface control points. Then we will insert a picture of the buttons in Rhino as a background bitmap and we are going to use it to trace the buttons always thinking in the size of our nozzle and the real dimensions we will have in our printed object. In our case, we are going to let 0.6 mm of gap to get a good result in the final version. Once we have traced the logos, we will offset them 0.6 mm, creating an external perimeter. And then we will use the extrusion of these two curves to make holes in the object we created before. So we will select all the curves and use the command extrude curve, and finally use the command boolean difference to make the holes. We will have our 3D model ready to export in STL, but before we are going to make a quick modification. Since the key is rounded in all its sides, we can't place it in Cura and get a good result, because in every case we will have to use supports and we won't get a good bottom surface. So that's why we are going to slice the object in two parts, that we will glue together once the object is printed in 3D. For that we are going to create a planar mesh and we are going to copy the key over it. We will move the object vertically to one of the faces of the metallic part of the key and then we will move the plane down 0.01 mm so the planes are not exactly the same. Once it's done, we will copy the key one more time and we will use the command mesh trim to cut part of the key in each of the objects. So we will get the top part from one of them and the bottom part from the other. Now we just have to flip the bottom part and move them vertically from one of their vertex to the ground plane. As you can see the objects are hollow, but if we export them in STL, since they are in the ground plane, they will be treated as solids. Now we just have to import the STL file in Cura and export the G-code. For this print we are going to use a layer height of 0.2mm, an infill of 25% with 3 gradual infill steps and a 50 and 100 mm per second for the print and displacement speeds. For addition to the build plate, I am going to use a brim of 8 mm because I tried with skirt and got a couple fails. I am going to print it now to see the final result that we get. Ok, so after an hour and 15 minutes of printing, this is the result that we got out of the printer. 
It looks pretty good, right? Now it only needs a bit of sanding and painting and we will get a very good looking Ferrari key. As you can see here, I've made another print of the same key with the same settings in Cura, but this time using a 0.1mm layer height. Since all the surfaces are curved and none of them is in the same plane, this time we got a much better result if we compare it with the 0.2mm layer height object that we printed before. Alright, so that was everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, so hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram to be notified when a new video is uploaded. If you want to support the channel, you can also consider to support us on Patreon from only $1 per month, what will make us extremely happy and will give you nice rewards that you can check in our Patreon page navigating to patreon.com slash architects3dp or clicking in the link in the description. Okay, so as always, see you guys in the next video.